Okay. Following a few skills that will help you in your video recording, regardless whether you are using a mobile device or a, a, a camcorder. Okay. Number one, lighting. Uh, whenever you, you want to uh, do any type of filming, you want to go to an environment when, uh, where, where there's a lot of light. Like in this group, there's a lot of light. But you also want to be careful that your backlight is not very strong. Okay, let me show you an example. If I walk over to here, okay, because there's a, a strong fluorescent light behind me, and my background is so, so bright, okay, it is a white wall, and so uh, you, you notice what happened to the face, okay, it, the face becomes very dark. Let me, sh let me show you back. If I walk back to here with a darker background, then the, f the face will show up a lot uh, better. Okay, video tape. Uh, one thing that they always ask is, what, what should I wear? Okay, and the answer to that is, wear something simple, something that is more, more, more plain. It doesn't have a lot of pattern. And so in this case, you know, I just have one, you know, color dark shirt. And and imagine if I, I wear something like this, you know, you see the stripe. You know, it will be very distracting. And in fact, if you wear something that has a lot of stripes, and when you when you move, you know, it, it looks like there's, there's a pattern on your shirt that will be moving too. So don't don't wear something like this in front of the camera. And also, um, if you are like me, you know, who have a, uh, who has a, a darker complexion, you may wear want to wear something that's a little darker, and that will help your face to stand out more. And um, and you may also want to use a background, you know, that is not not white, and don't, that will also help the the, the face to, to stand out more. Okay, and the thing that you need to pay attention to is the framing. Uh, you don't want to have too much headroom, okay, above the person, like like in this that example, it, it will look like the person has to grow into the the, the frame. No, and, and you also don't want to have too little headroom. Otherwise, it feels like the person has to be, you know, pressed down. And and so the the good example is to to show the person uh, like kind of like right in the middle, with some some room on top, and so he, uh, he can look comfortable. Okay. Another thing is called the, the lead room or the nose room. Okay. Let me show you the example. Now in this example, I look like I'm I'm talking to to the wall. Okay. You don't want that. You want to uh, give some space whenever the person is facing to, to the side. And so uh, you can either have the subject you know, step back a little bit, or you can move the camera. And so that uh, if you divide the whole uh, screen into three, third, three areas, you want to put the subject to the, to, uh, on, on one third, and then uh, uh, to give about you know, two thirds of the space, and so the person has some room to talk to. Whenever possible, you want to film at least two times. Uh, the first time when you're filming, you want to show just everything. And then when you film again, you want to focus on certain parts that you want the audience to see so that um, they can see uh, those parts more clearly.